OMF stands for Open Media Format. It's a system for transferring project information between programs. So here we are in Premiere. I'm just going to uh, export an OMF of this session. You can see here I've got my audio clips down below and the video clips at the top. So I'm going to go up to the file menu here and I'm going to go down to export. Now instead of clicking media where I might normally click I'm going to go to OMF here and we get this small video we get to give it a name um, so I'm just going to call it OMF export 01 then I get to choose the sample rate so we need to set that to uh, 48 kilohertz and we get to choose the bit rate and I'm going to recommend that you send that to 24 because uh, that's the highest possible setting there. The next option uh, is for the files and what we want to do is to choose to encapsulate. What this does is it combines all of the information, all of the audio files into one separate OMF file. Uh, this is fine for projects that will create an OMF that's smaller than two gigabytes. If it's larger then you might want to create a separate one but it's much easier to just encapsulate everything. Now the other thing that we want to do uh, is to trim the audio files so this means that any uh, clips that aren't being used will be left out so we've not got a load of uh, redundant material uh, inside the OMF making it much bigger. But when it comes down to the audio edit you might find that the uh, sound designer wants to have a little bit of leeway to change the fades and the ins and the out points on your video and that's where this last option of handles comes in here. Now you can set the number of frames that you want to extend the trimmed audio from either side. So uh, uh, here we've got 30 selected, so that's about one second either side of the clip. Now in order to give the sound designers a bit of leeway, we recommend that you leave a bit more space than that. So we're going to choose 120 frames, which is five seconds either way. So that means that they can do nice smooth fades in and out and uh, give you the best possible sound edit. All we need to do then, once we've made all these settings, is just hit OK and we'll then choose where we want to save it. Click Save and the process will chug through. Then you'll get a little export information menu that tells you what's gone on and then you'll be able to click OK and ping off this file to whoever's doing the sound for you.